We are back today for Weed Wednesdays. We're going to talk a little bit about common lambs quarters today. Common lambs quarters is in the goosefoot genus. It also happens to be the only goosefoot that's considered noxious here in Manitoba. And that is due to its ability to emerge early. So that first flush of lambs quarters is probably up before your crop is. And that earliest flush is likely at 8 to 10 leaf now if it hasn't been controlled and you've probably got some more popping up right away. So lambs quarters isn't much of a prolific seed producer. It actually only produces about 75,000 seeds of plants for the big ones. And the issue is those seeds stay viable in the soil for a really long time. So there's been a few studies conducted. One of those studies showed that over 30% of the seed was still viable in the soil after 20 years. That's too much. So because it's up so early, it actually winds up being fairly competitive for macronutrients. In corn and soybeans, just one plant per foot of row can reduce yields up to 25%. From a herbicide resistance standpoint, we really don't have too much to worry about here. Researchers in the mid-2010s that researched dicamba resistance in common lambs quarters and actually found something kind of interesting. They found that there's a link between leaf serrations and dicamba resistance. Not that that's something we've been seeing here in the Red River Valley, but something to take note of for sure. Well, group 14 herbicides are a pretty good choice when deciding on early season control as a pre-emerge. Uh, straight up glyphosate does a pretty good job too. In crop, basically anything's going to take this stuff down as long as it's small enough. Groups 2, 4, 5, 6, 10, 27, they'll all work. You really start to run into issues when the plants get big, kind of past that 8, 10 leaf stage, we'll start running into troubles. I'd say it's more important to identify the rest of the weed spectrum in your field because those are likely going to give you more trouble with control than common labs quarters. That's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. I got to get back to checking for flea beetles here. Uh, coming up soon, we're going to do some videos on tall water hemp and why it's such an emerging issue here in the Red River Valley. Stay tuned.